the easy part. <laughs> um, this next little section, hey Holly, I'm going to have you come right behind me so we can do the gate and then I'll just keep on going with them and then you and Kara can close the gate and catch up. Um, this little section, I'll, I'll try and stop and let you guys know when there's something coming up and there's only a couple of kind of technical things unless you don't want me to. Some people are like, oh I'd rather just find out on my own later. A um, couple little rock ledges, nothing major. Who's ridden at Dinosaur Valley State Park before? <laughs> or Cleburne State Park. Okay. Real similar stuff. Limestone, little ledgy stuff, some some uh, loose stuff, which would probably be perfect today because of the rain. It probably won't be that, that washed out. You're going to drop down this, turn to the right, go down to the bottom, and there'll be a gate there. You'll see uh, Holly. She'll point you in the right direction, and then we'll be out in an open pasture like this again. All good? You, you want me to follow you? Is that what you yeah, want? if you'll just come down so I can keep going. Okay.
Yeah.
this has been great. She, uh, she really did a lot of really good things with Bob Grimm, and now she lets us trespass for about eight out of our ten miles. So did she put animals on her land? She never did have a dot. Um, it was just land that we could could have expanded to if we had chosen to. Um, she has goats, cattle, horses, ducks, but nothing exotic. Alright, so this is where we go on pavement. And we're going to go as far as you can see from here to those horses, about that far again to the other side. So we're barely going to be on this county road at all. If you stay on the far right, we're going to make it into a driveway up there. I'm not sure what gates are going to be set. I'm sure there'll be at least one or two gates that we need to go through before we get to where we're going. So we'll coordinate that so we're not stopping and waiting for them. Any, any questions, comments? You guys doing alright with the page?
pretty clear with my money. <laughs> Okay. I thought you said there weren't any of the uh, turtles from here. The turtle on there. I thought he was like, oh, was that turtle? Yeah, right here, right here, it's live. He was a kind of a butt. 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 He was a kind of a <laughs> it was kind of mossy or, you know, kind of like dirty on the outside. Yeah. One of the farmers was trying to move. Maybe he got poop. Like, <laughs> he, might have, he might have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, they're, they're vicious. He was Wouldn't that very, be bad for a turtle to, like, get poop on them and they could never get it off? Maybe like, like, this. All right. Next stop will be at the top of a long, gradual descent. To be, to be followed by, yeah. So this is this is what we call um, what do we call it? the grind, but we're going down the grind. It's just a grind coming up. Um, it's a long, pretty gradual downhill. It is kind of rocky, but the rocks shouldn't be an issue. It's going to be like what we saw for the very first thing coming off. So it's all pretty uh, tight. It's not loose like it usually is. So that'll help. But it is a little bit off camber. Right right side is high, left side is low. So what I always do is I start out high. 
because it's going to try to bounce you down to that low side. So just kind of keep your speed under control. The reason I'm telling you all this is because a lot of people see this first little section that is like, oh, I'm going to bomb it, and they take off. And after about 150, 200 feet, it gets rocky and, and off camber. And then by that time, they might not be able to reel the speed back in enough to, to keep it under control. We're going to go down. If you want to go all the way, all, all the way to the top of the field before running, I'm going to put Tara at the oh, second. Got it. Um, and then once you go down, this is a blast. So, so go as fast as you want to, knowing what you got, but give each other space. Don't let the guy in front of you screw up your good run just because you came right behind him. And so give each other a few bike lengths. You can't get lost on this. Tara's going to be at the intersection. And when we get all the way to the end of it, we're going to be ready to start the animal tour. Yay. All right, go ahead, Holly. Okay. I'm going to go right, right on your bike. <laughs> don't, don't try this at home. I'm a trained professional. <laughs> you got suspension on your knees. Need two. on my head for a change. <laughs> I heard something about a figure eight. I don't know. Well, it sounds like we don't have to do Maybe come back. Thank <laughs> you. 
think you're a giraffe. You're okay. <laughs> the rhinos are a prey species, although there's not much left that kills them. But on those guys, if you start spreading out, they start getting nervous and they'll run away from us. So we all want to stay in an enclosed group. We can talk at, at this loudness. You don't have to whisper, but we don't want to scream and yell either. No bells, no air horns, um, no firearms. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was weird. <laughs> Plus, you've gone on safari in a couple, couple days. Oh, well, I'll tell you, I'm going to go shoot a monkey. <laughs> um, all right, so let me, let me do that here in front of you guys. And on this little creek crossing, can you just be aware of the fact that the right hand side is a little bit easier than the left hand side <coughs> going down? Hold on. <coughs> Got some trees down. Got some trees down. find it if it's there. So you the rhino? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So you're the one with the rhino plates. Yeah. Where'd you, you, you get your them? socks at? You know, I think I might have gotten these from Pam. Did you? Yeah. Alright, we're all here, so when we go to see these animals, pretty much everything we're going to see today has a little skirt around the outside of the pen. There's a little area where it's either grass or you can tell that it's not supposed to be walked on. If we stay at that distance, we'll have really good luck having them come up, get pictures, do a lot of stuff. If we get right up to the fence, especially the rhinos, there's a chance to get hurt, but with the other animals, there's a chance they'll run away from us. So keep that little three or four foot safe zone there uh, for them and us. We've got three black rhinos. I'm not sure who's going to be out where we can see them, but we'll go along to the side.
going to swear. Big man.
the horn right through the fog.